having multiple ways to start a fire is kind of like preparedness 101. And here are some of the more common tools used to start a fire going from easiest to hardest. My lighter, matches with a striker on top, a ferrule rod with a high carbon knife, my fire steel and tender bundle kit. And today I'm looking to add another one to it, uh, the bow drill or bow drill friction fire. Now I've never really done the bow drill friction fire. I know it's working principle, but I've never actually put it into practical application. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna try to make and use a bow drill to start fire. This is not a tutorial on how to make and use a bow drill. This is not a how-to on how to make a bow drill and use it. This is just me seeing that if a common person like me can actually make and use a bow drill to start fire. So let's get at it. After I cut the limbs off this tree, I noticed that it started leaking sap. And like I said, I don't know what kind of tree this is. It kind of came up on its own. So if you know what kind of tree this is, drop me a line in the comments. So this is the piece that I'm gonna use for my bow drill. It's got a nice Y up here at the top and it's got a nice bow to it. Now that I've got my notch in this end, I can go ahead and start stringing my bow. And for my bow string, I'm just gonna use paracord. And I'm gonna start up here on the fourth end first. Then I'm gonna do the notched end. And when you go to string up your bow, you don't want it to be extremely tight because it makes it harder when you're sawing back and forth to get the spindle moving. And that should work right there. We'll get a test stick and see how it does. And I believe that'll work. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna start working on my spindle. And I believe this is pecan that I'm using. So here's my spindle. I've got the bottom of it chamfered out and I've got a point on the top for my bearing block. And this of course will go into my fireboard. And it's not completely straight. It's got a little bit of a bow to it, but I think it'll work. For my bearing block, I found a piece of apple wood and it fits my hand pretty good. And I'm just gonna take and cut this off to make it flat. Now I'm gonna start working a hole in right here or a divot to place my spindle in. As you can tell, winter has arrived here in Alabama. The high today was like, I think like 38 or something like that. But anyway, this is the piece of wood I'm gonna use for my fireboard. Uh, it seems like it's a real soft wood. So now I'm gonna do is put a divot in it. I guess now I'm gonna to try to do a burn in. All right, so even though I failed to get a burn in, it did produce a good hole into my fireboard. So I'm gonna keep my fireboard, but I think my spindle is so far out of round so that's where I'm having my problems with. So I'm gonna make another spindle. All right, so after a couple of days of rain, here's where I'm at. I kept my original bow, my original bearing block. I created a new spindle out of some hickory and I've got a new fireboard and I believe this is some type of fruit wood. And as you can see, I've already tried it out, but I haven't really done a good burn in. So that's what I'm fixing to do now.
now that I've got a good burn in done, I'm gonna go ahead and create my V notch. All right, so I got my notch in, and I guess now I'm ready to try to make fire. I've used this first knot so much that it has wallered it out to where my stick keeps wobbling back and forth. So I'm gonna create another notch and come about to the center of the board.
All right, so using the bow drill for friction fire is a long way around to make fire, I can tell you that. Starting with the bow itself, if you have too much tension in your bow, uh, it'll produce too much drag when you're going back and forth and will flip your spindle out of the socket and you'll have to find it and put, start all over again. And if it's too loose, it'll actually spin on the spindle. Now, speaking of the spindle, I ended up making another one out of hickory and this one, like I said, produced heat and smoke almost instantly. The first one that I made had a bow in it and it was made out of pecan and when I'd get it up to speed, it would just pop out of the socket and I'd start all over again. So I never really could get it to produce heat or smoke. So, all right, now on to my fireboard. My first fireboard, uh, I believe it was oak that maybe had gone too far or something like that that started rotting and it wouldn't work that great. So I got a piece of fruit wood and you know split it down and this coupled with the hickory spindle worked great. It produced heat and smoke you know, almost immediately. So I was happy about that. And for my bearing block, this is actually a chunk of apple wood that I got out of a bag of wood that I you know used for smoking meats and all that kind of stuff. And it worked great for you know, a bearing block. So. so that was my trials and tribulations of the bow drill setup itself. And if you were trying to do this in a real world situation, you probably just would be out of luck. All right, so that's my take on the bow drill friction fire setup. And I'm hoping that once the weather kind of stabilizes, maybe it starts warming up a little bit, I can get some more practice with this and do it all in one whack without having all these problems that I had doing it for my first attempt. So thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time.